Lost and Found by Kate Banks and Gayla Bernstein. Lost and Found. The woodmouse and the rabbit raced around the big bend of the forest. What's that? said the woodmouse, stopping short in her tracks. On a mouse, moss-covered mound lay a rag doll. The rabbit moved closer to the doll and sniffed. He knew the fresh, sweet fragrance of the forest after the rain and the scent of wild honeysuckle floating on the breeze, but the rabbit didn't know this smell. The otter poked her head out of her burrow. She placed a paw on the rag doll's hair. What is it? the otter asked. She knew the feel of rough, ragged tree and the soft, silky heads of the pussy willows by the river, but she didn't know this. The other forest animals gathered around for a look. It doesn't have a tail, said the hedgehog, or a wet nose, said the white-tailed deer. And it doesn't like nuts, said the squirrel. Along came the beaver, who knew the sound of the water washing over the dam and the whine of the wayward wind. What's that, he asked when he spotted the rag doll. We don't know, replied the rabbit. I don't know either, said the beaver, but I do know what these, those are, and the beaver pointed to a patch of footprints leading away from the doll. Let's follow them, he said. The animals wove in and out of the shady glade under a canopy of oak trees, and they kept going until they came to a meadow. They had never been out of the forest before, and it was a little frightening, but they were curious. Before them was a wide stretch of gray. What's that? asked the squirrel, and the animals knew forest trails thickly carpeted with leaves and the rounded path of the moon across the sky, but they'd never seen a road. They cautiously crossed it. On the other side was a house. What's that? asked the wood mouse. The animals had seen the eagle's matted nest and the den of the hibernating bear, but they'd never seen a home like this. Suddenly, the door of the house flew open and a child ran into the yard. The child looked familiar. It had brownish hair and dark eyes and it had floppy arms and legs, and it was wrapped in a soft colored cloth. Is that it? said the wood mouse. Maybe, said the rabbit. I think so, said the squirrel. Without a doubt, cried the beaver. When the child returned to the house, the animals tiptoed into the yard and placed the rag doll on the swing and they scurried back to the deep forest where they went about their business. But the next evening, when the moon appeared, the animals scampered to the edge of the forest again. Across the wide gray road in the window of the house shone a bright light. What's that? said the rabbit. It shines, but it's not a star, said the hedgehog. They crept across the yard and right up to the window and inside the child was curled up in, the, in her in the bed with the rag doll reading a book the child patted the doll's head and kissed its cheek i know what that is said the rabbit who knew the warmth of his mother's soft fur so do i said the wood mouse remembering the sound of her mother's heartbeat me too said the otter who thought of her brothers tucked tightly in their burrow I remember, said the squirrel, imagining the gentle touch of his father's paw. Yes, said the hedgehog, who fondly recalled sharing a meal with a friend. I know too, said the beaver, looking at his dear companions, while the white-tailed deer smiled in agreement. They had never seen a rag doll, a road, a house, a child, or a lit window, but they all knew what love was. <laughs>